Hello everybody! Hope you're all safe and well. Pete here. Today is day two. Um, currently I am on my way to try and find something to eat. Need to get something in this belly. I am absolutely starving this morning. If you watch Travel Day, you'll know that I'm on a bit of a mini vlog series uh, where I'm gonna kind of be speaking about and giving you guys all some hints and tips on a budget trip. So I'm currently walking along International Drive, looking for somewhere cheap and cheerful to eat for breakfast. The first sort of IHOP or Denny's, that sort of ilk we come across, we're gonna go in. So I need to get food in this belly. If you watched a uh, travel day yesterday, uh, thank you, first of all. If you haven't, come on, go back and have a wee look. So I ended the vlog at the park, so I just thought I'd mention I jumped on the free shuttle bus back to Surfside Hotel, the part of the Endless Summer Resorts, the Universal Hotels. Jumped on the free shuttle bus back there, a wee sneaky one, and just walked across the road to my budget-friendly hotel. Um, so, free, free shuttle bus home last night. It's always, always handy. So if you're staying close by the endless summer resorts, you know, you, you can take advantage of the free Universal Shuttle. I'm guessing it's probably not advertised that way. I, I doubt Universal would be that bothered. You are going to the parks to spend your money. Um, but yeah, I suppose seek forgiveness and not permission on that one. But um, I'm guessing if hundreds and hundreds of people were to start doing that, they'd obviously have to start checking hotel keys when you're getting on the bus and whatnot, but as I say, I don't think they're going to be terribly bothered about it, so yeah, if you're staying close by, they're on a free shuttle bus, get you over to the parks. Right, time for breakfast. This morning I'm going to do a couple of hotel and resort reviews, they'll be posted separately, um, and then later I'm going to be going to check into my next hotel. Um, different hotel every night, all done on a budget, not the cheapest, and tonight is a bit of self-indulgence. However, at the same time, it's extremely good value for money, so it certainly will help you along with your budget. Uh, when you're coming on a holiday, you need to have a few kind of luxuries and a few treats. Tonight's hotel certainly is that, so, um, yep, definitely excited for that. I'll let you know about that in shortly. So, let's have a great day. Oh, I forgot to say, Welcome back to anyone that's watched before, and if you're new, great to have you on board. Right, come on, let's go have a fun-filled day here in Orlando. The sun's shining. It's currently 8am in the morning, such a beautiful time to be walking about the streets. The sun's just rising, it's shining, it looks beautiful, and it's got that early morning smell. There's no place I'd rather be. Right, let's find somewhere cheap and cheerful for breakfast. is me done in IHOP. I got myself the world famous pancake combo. Came with uh, two pancakes with strawberry and cream and a couple of sausages, eggs and hash brown, which I'm sure you've just seen. It was more than adequate, lovely. Uh, service was a little slow, but to be fair, the restaurant was absolutely packed and the server was lovely too. She was really nice. So um, <clears throat> all in all, great little breakfast. Enjoyed that. That was set me up for the good few hours now. Cost me $16.59 plus tip, which isn't too bad at all. It was a lot of food. That included a, a Mountain Dew with a couple of refills too, so I think relatively good value for money if you ask me. Can't complain of that for a breakfast. That's me just checked out of the cheapest hotel on International Drive I could find on Expedia, just called an Uber. I'm going to jump round to my next hotel. Overall, I don't think I would come back to this hotel. Um, it scored a 3 out of 5, uh, heavily based on the price to get those scores, um, but I wouldn't necessarily not recommend it to others, just not 
for me, I don't think. Um, I think I would choose an alternative hotel that's slightly more expensive, such as the Roseland Point or the Doubletree by next to Universal Orlando. So there we go. That is me made it over to my next hotel for tonight. Um, I have gone from possibly the cheapest hotel to one of the most expensive hotels that's close by Universal Orlando. I'm staying on site on property at Universal at Lowe's Royal Pacific Resort. I've just kind of checked in and dropped my bag because the room's not ready and already I can tell how nice a resort this is. It is absolute luxury. It's classed as one of Universal's premier hotels. That's kind of top tier. Um, I'm incredibly happy to be to be here. Later on when I get checked in I'll give you a little view of the hotel room and also the sort of reception area lobby. Um, however, I will be doing a full hotel review separately to this. Um, should already be out, so if it is, the link will be in the descriptions. Uh, so first of all, I got an Uber over here from Hotel Montreal. It cost me $7.33. Um, I only got the Uber because I've got my bags. Uh, I'm not pushed for time today, it's just a relaxing day. That <laughs> was security. <laughs> I'm not pushed for time today, just uh, on a relaxing day. So I would have got the buses over for free um, if I didn't have my bag with me. Um, I didn't want to walk and cart that about everywhere. So $7.33 plus tip, not too much money at all. Saves me kind of walking in this heat with a average size sort of home dog. So that's why I got the Uber over. I know you'll be saying, Pete, you said this was a budget trip. And I did. I also said it wasn't the cheapest trip ever. Uh, this is my moment of indulgence. Um, it's always been a bit of one of those kind of dreams to stay at one of these kind of luxury hotels since coming to Universal, but it's never really been in within budget and they can be very, very expensive. However, um, I managed to get it for as cheap as I have seen it, uh, which I'm delighted with. I'll explain how I managed to get that and how I managed to get discount on it uh, shortly. There are three premier hotels at Universal Resort, uh, three of the top tier premier hotels and all of them come what's called, comes with what's called the Universal Express Pass. So in short, the Universal Express Pass is basically a kind of Q-skip pass. Um, you don't have to use the regular line, you use a separate line only for people who have the Express Pass. Um, so it's a lot shorter queue, which is a fantastic perk. These are actually very expensive um, to buy on a daily basis on their own. So to get it free with your hotel night, you can justify the sort of superior cost of the hotel. Looking forward to make use of my Express Pass later on today. So I'm currently at Cabana Bay Beach Resort doing a hotel resort review. Um, I'm starving, it's midday so I've got myself some lunch. I've gone for salad. <laughs> I don't know why, I just fancied something healthy and nutritious. Um, so, gone for salad, it's cost me $9.75, and it's absolutely massive. It's a vegan salad. I'm not vegan, but I just like the look of it. Um, and I got myself some still water for free, dispensed from the Coca-Cola refill machine. So, including tip, I think it, including tip, including tax, it was $10.40, which isn't bad at all for a full lunch meal. reviews which I have done and um, I'll put a few links in the bottom if you want I did a few of the Universal hotels since then I got a text message from Royal Pacific Hotel my hotel for tonight saying my room was ready so I got back to the hotel and now I am in my room and I can confirm it is beautiful absolutely stunning right so I'll give you a quick room tour now just a wee quick one this is a standard double queen room. You come in, oh, the wee disco light there, and how are you doing, folks? You have your vanity unit to your right, 
and then there is the bathroom you've got your toilet wc and a small bathtub and a overhead shower with toiletries there too stepping back here you have a massive wardrobe for clothes and luggage you've got iron board safe as well for any valuables you've got two double queen beds absolutely stunning beautiful decor really really nice here remember the royal pacific is a premier hotel at universal so top tier i've gone from rags to riches last night the cheapest hotel to tonight one of the most expensive hotels in the universal orlando resort area so you've got two double beds you've got a sort of bedside dresser with clock pen and paper a few plug points as well there then you've got oh, my bags just in the background standard sort of desk and chair for a little bit of work if you want you've got full length mirror big massive television um, and also in the cupboard you have refrigerator and coffee making station and if you want you can buy a bottle of water for seven dollars fifty no thank you <laughs> or unless i get absolutely desperate throughout the middle of the night otherwise don't think about buying that. So I'd said earlier that this was paid as a budget price, and not a cheap price, but a budget price. I'll just explain that a little further. So this hotel room cost me $242 plus tax, made it around $270. Uh, pounds sterling was around £212 pound sterling, which is a lot more money than what I would normally pay for a night here in Orlando. However, it comes with benefits. The main benefit you get is that your room key also doubles up as a Universal Express Unlimited Pass. This comes free per person, per room. So not free, you've already paid for it in the price of the hotel. But it's per person, per room gets one of these. And it's from the day of check-in and the check-out date. So for one my, for my one night tonight, I get Universal Express all day today and all day tomorrow, which is fantastic. So I had a look online to see how much Universal Express passes were. So they vary um, from time of the year, day of the year. Basically, it's on demand. So the more crowds Universal expect, the higher Universal pass was. If I was to buy it today for today and tomorrow, the unlimited Universal Express Pass was $184.99 per person. So bear in mind that, that would be $370 plus tax, whereas I paid $270 for the room itself. So I get the Express Pass plus I also get the hotel night. So all in all, it is good value as much of it's quite expensive. Um, if you can pull it in your budget, then it's very much advisable. Loads of people do this. Loads of people come to one of the premier hotels at Universal for one night to get two days worth of Universal Express passes. You can fit four or five people in some of the rooms. So, you know, you can calculate there is some significant savings and it's an absolute luxury to have the Express Pass. And there's no point having the Express Pass if you don't make use of it. So I'm now going to make my way along to Universal Studios. One thing I should add is that I got this hotel room so cheap because I was managed to benefit from the annual pass member discount rate. So this is a low season of the year, so hotel rooms are cheaper. Also, during low seasons, Universal quite often offer a attractive rate for Florida residents and annual pass holders, so I got to benefit from that. So it's worthwhile looking ahead of your holiday if you're considering a premier hotel at Universal for the Express Pass benefit. Um, check if there's an annual pass member discount. It may work out cheaper to almost change your ticket to an annual pass and then get the discount on the hotel. Um, have a wee look. The pool is looking great fun. So this resort has the water taxi service, so I'm about to jump on that and get along to Universal Studios.
Well folks, we have made our way to Universal Studios Florida. Getting the water taxi over here really was a bit of a novelty for me. Um, I was ironic last night, staying in that cheap hotel. Tonight, staying in that stunning prestige hotel. Really enjoying it. I better not get too used to it though, because it's certainly out with my budget on most normal circumstances. Anyway, we're at Universal. We've got a few hours left. Let's go and put these express passes to use just inside the gates of Universal Studios and this is a little kiosk you can buy your express passes if you choose to do so. Um, as you know, I've got mine, so let's go and use it. The first ride you come to in the parks is the Spickle Me Minion Mayhem. I went off the ball with this. It's usually quite a long queue. It's shown 30 minutes, which is a short time for it. Uh, so I'm going to jump in anyway, use my express pass and see how we get on. So, the Spickle Me Minion Mayhem was shown 30 minutes with the express pass. I walked into the ride after 15, uh, so I suppose that is a bonus. Today I am absolutely going to be testing this express pass just to see how much time it saves you. Uh, bear in mind, usually uh, the wait times are slightly overstated, so we'll see what happens. It's currently Mardi Gras here at Universal Studios. There are loads of food booths throughout the park. Um, I think I'm going to do a couple of faster rides and then have some to eat because my stomach is not good on a fast ride with food in it. And talking about fast rides, here's the Revenge of the Mummy. If my eyesight is not letting me down, it's 45 minutes in the regular queue. Single Riders is open and Express Pass is open. We'll be taking Express Pass. Well, let's see how long it takes. So the mummy was shown a 45 minute wait when I went in. It's now 35 minutes and I've come out. Uh, the express pass was virtually a walk on. Just walked straight to the front. Happy days, well worth it. Um, I'm sure a different person comes out those rides that goes into it. Because um, I was going into it thinking, why am I doing it? All the same kind of nonsense that I give through my nerves. The anxiety of the fast ride. Um, I come out buzzing, literally was, felt my hands sort of uh, buzzing a little bit, um, feel great, so glad that I did it. And my advice, my tip to anyone that is slightly nervous or anxious about coasters but would like to do them here at Universal, try the Revenge of the Mummy first, it's, a, it's the most timid coaster here, I would say, uh, and it's sort of like a stepping stone onto the bigger one, so yeah, if you're a wee bit anxious about it, certainly go and give it a shot, I'm so glad I did it, and I tell you, if, you, if I asked... If you asked me 10 minutes ago, did I want to do it? I kind of didn't. Two rides so far with the Express Pass and two successes, especially Revenge of the Mummy there. I'm going to make my way around to Harry Potter uh, Escape from the Gringotts because that is the longest queue in the park. It's also a super ride. So I'll make my way around there. Uh, we're going to really put this Express Pass to the test tonight, folks. We have made our way into Diagon Alley. Up ahead is Gringotts Bank. And that is where Escape from the Gringotts ride is, funnily enough. Currently showing a 40 minute wait. Let's test it. So Harry Potter, Escape from Gringotts, showed 40 minute wait and again a straight walk in. The Express Pass is working an absolute treat here tonight at Universal Studios. The one thing I'll say about that ride is the locker system is a disaster. Um, I mean, the park will be busier the more it uh, is at the moment. Uh, we showed a 40 minute wait, I know that goes up to 120 minute wait on really busy days, but the locker room is tiny and everyone needs to get in to get their stuff, so that is one negative point. I hate to be miserable and doom and gloom, but it's not great. I'm sure Universal have had that feedback many, many times. I'm sure they've thought about trying to rectify it, whether or not they can or can't, or they might do in the future, but yeah, it's not much fun in that tiny little locker room. It's cramped and a little smelly, and uh, people do get a bit impatient, but other than that, fantastic ride. Really enjoyed it as it was. There is something about that smell of butter popcorn in the parks. It just gives you that nostalgic feeling. Um, I, I love it, absolutely love it. Right, anyway, on to the next one. I'm going to go on the old original ET, the last standing ride in the park from opening day. 
Um, it's only shown a 20 minute wait or something like that. Well, we've shown 20 minute wait five minutes ago. Um, I'm sure it's less than that in the regular line. However, we're going to express, of course, and I've no doubt it'll be an absolute walk on. <laughs> Straight walk on as expected with ED. Oh boy, I love that ride. I don't know what it is, nostalgia. Obviously, it just is nostalgia. Um, great, great ride. Uh, fun for all the family. Um, never gets old for me. Um, so, with ET, we didn't really put the Express Pass to the test, but I'm about it. I'm going to go and ride the Hogwarts Express. That is the Harry Potter train that takes you from park to park. If you have a park to park ticket, uh, it'll take you from Universal Studios over to Islands of Adventure or vice versa. And it's always one of the longest waits. So I'm gonna go over now and see if we can jump the queue with the Express Pass and drop into Islands of Adventure. As mentioned earlier, if you're staying at one of the premier hotels, you get free unlimited Express Pass. If you want to buy them here in the parks, they are expensive and there's two different types of Express Pass. Uh, the first one you get to use the Express, you get to use the Express Lane once per attraction and that's the standard Express Pass. Then the upper tier one, the unlimited one, you can use it unlimited amount of times on the attractions that accept the Express Pass, uh, closing the name with unlimited of course. Um, there's one attraction between the two parks that doesn't accept the Express Pass, and that is Hagrid's Magical Motorbike Adventure. It's the busiest ride by far. The only way of getting our uh, Express Pass, which is known as a Red Ruby Express Pass, I believe is if you get a magical moment or a treat from a cast member, or you are part of a VIP package, you get to the front of the queue, which is extortionate, big, big money, or if you're waiting in line, and the ride goes down and you don't get to ride it. They don't always give it to everyone in line. It depends where you are. The closer you are to the front, the more chance of getting a Ruby Red Express Pass. We have made our way along to King's Cross Station. Currently showing a 40 minute wait. I made my way over to Islands of Adventure. The Hogwarts Express was just another straight walk on really. Uh, the Express Pass took you up to the same bit that the regular queue is. So happy days, another win for the Express Pass. I'll tell you what, this is a relatively quiet day and I'm finding loads of benefit on the Express Pass. On a busy day it must be even more benefit. Well, that being said, there'll be more people with express passes in a busy day, however, uh, a lot longer queues, so if I could afford it, I would definitely get myself an express pass every time, but I can't, so I might as well enjoy it while it lasts. So we're going to do one last ride here at Universal Orlando Resort in Islands of Adventure. We're going to do the High in the Sky Seuss Trolley Train Ride. Currently shown a 20 minute wait and it does have express pass available. You may laugh but the regular standby queue there actually was quite long. There was quite a lot of people in it so the express pack so the express pass did work. I got right up to the front, no bother at all. Happy days. So to answer the question, is Express Pass worth it? It's tough. I definitely say the Express Pass is successful, so Express is a success for sure. Definitely cuts your wait time down by a good amount. If you've got the money, if you can afford it in your budget, absolutely go for it. Um, I don't think you would uh, have a bad word to say about it really, it works really, really well. For me, in my general budget, I wouldn't say that I'd be getting it every time I come. Um, I may look out and see if there's good offers again on the Premier Hotels at 
universal that comes with the free express pass that would be my recommended route and way of buying express passes especially if you're a family because you know it's so expensive so if you pay for a room in the hotel even though you're going to pay a lot of money you are going to get the luxury of the hotel which would be nice it'll be a treat and then you will also get the express pass so definitely worth it so I'm just going to make my way out of Islands of Adventure now. Um, in terms of what we did tonight with the Express Pass, we've only been here around three hours and we managed to spick a wee Minion Mayhem. We did Revenge of the Mummy. We did Harry Potter Escape from the Hing... We did Harry Potter Escape from the Gringotts. We did E.T. We did the Hogwarts Express. And we also did the trolley ride in Seuss Landing. So loads done in the three hours with the express pass very successful night I had lots of fun so i'm going to be walking back to royal pacific uh, resort that is my hotel for this evening i'm going to let you know how long a walk it is uh, the water taxi was great i did enjoy it a little bit of luxury uh, however i just thought i'd test the walking path and see how far away it is and how long it takes i shall let you know that is me back at the hotel room, back to Lowe's Royal Pacific Resort. Luxury tonight, folks. Looking forward to see how good the bed is. Um, I'm going to do a full hotel review tomorrow. Uh, that will probably have already been posted, so if I've not already said it, I'll say it again. I'll chuck that in the links, have a wee look. Um, so, the day, had a fantastic day. First day here, day one. Uh, been on the go for about 12 or 13 hours now, started off a beautiful IHOP breakfast. Uh, you were there, you saw it. Uh, did a few bits and bobs, a couple of hotel reviews, resort reviews, and then over to Universal for some evening fun. It's been an absolute pleasure using the Express Pass 2. I think tomorrow morning, I'm if I'm up early enough, which I think I should be, I'm going to give Early Park Admission a shot. I've not done it before. So it'll be interesting to see how that works. It'll be interesting to find out if it's good or bad, what the benefits are, if I can find out any tips. I'll share the experience. Hopefully you guys might be, hopefully you guys might be able to benefit from it. However, for the moment tonight, I'm gonna to go to my bed, uh, lie, watch a bit of TV, and then fall asleep in no time, I'm sure. But anyway, if you've liked this at all, hit that wee like button for me, please, and hit subscribe. Thank you very much from a very tired Pete. See you the next one.